Good morning, Mr. Chukuma. Thank you for coming on the program. Now, your company championed IT knowledge into Nigeria through the Computerized Nigeria Project. Now, decades down the line, can you tell us what's different now? Okay. Um, thank you very much for having us. So, for we in Zinox um, over the years, we initially started from just computer production and manufacturing. So to really talk about what has fully happened over the years, we'd have to talk about a little bit about the brand and the vision behind it. Zinox was founded in 2001 by tech entrepreneur, Dr. Leo Stan Eke, with a simple but yes complex vision. And the vision was to change the structures of ICT in the country in the 21st century by promoting a knowledge-driven economy through digital democracy. And digital democracy, we speak about here, isn't only talking about elections. It's talking about the country having a technological voice that transcends just what you have with computers and laptops and solutions. And that is even much more important than what we see today. We can see what's happening, um, trade wars that you see between the US and China, which is all about IP, intellectual property and technology. We see sanctions being, a place, being placed against um, a country like China from the US. And we are here thinking, if such sanctions come to a country like Nigeria, do we have a voice? Do we have a technological backbone that can, have, can actually drive and pioneer these solutions? If we are cut off from the rest of the world, how can we actually fend for ourselves digitally? Because a con for a country to succeed, it must be independent in its own technology. And for Zinox, we started in 2001 by just producing computers, the laptops and desktops. And we've seen different areas of growth and innovation that have taken us from just producing the computers and desktops to also going into full ICT production, full tech solutions and delivering turnkey projects. Besides just computing, Zinox has also transcended into being an ISP, which is an internet service provider. We've also moved into the field of renewable energy by having our own brand of hybrid inverters, batteries, solar panels. We've now also moved into home and consumer electronic appliances by having our own range of smart TVs, power generators, electric kettles, toasters, microwaves, general home appliances. So we've moved across the years from just a company that was bringing out boxes to providing solutions across the full value chain. Besides ICT, we started developing projects that have been able to push the educational sector a bit. And when we started doing those projects, it was just about supplying computers. But we moved on from just supplying computers. We started building the structures by ourselves. We have a team of architects, we have a team of engineers that deploy these buildings and ensure they are up to code, that they can be fully used for the structures and the purpose which they, they have been made for. So really, across the line, we have moved from just doing the boxes. We now provide full turnkey solutions. And we have also diversified into sectors like renewable energy and consumer electronics and home appliances. Now, in today's world of virtual learning, which of course, uh, which has been brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, what does Zinox offer Nigerians to keep up relevance in the League of Countries and ICT? For virtual learning to have, for you to have a good virtual learning experience, there need to be three full pillars for you to be completely integrated and successful. Zinox has been pioneering virtual learning and digital learning in Nigeria since 2004 with the introduction of the e-library project, the school knowledge center project, and the tertiary institution knowledge center project. And those three pillars, I'll first start from a platform. You need to have a scalable platform in terms of software that can be a virtual environment that brings in the teachers, brings in the students to fully collaborate online. That's the first aspect. And Zynos bring this through our partnership with Microsoft. With Microsoft, we're able to deploy O365 for education that comes with Microsoft Teams, which is the largest scalable virtual platform that leads to collaborations. And with Microsoft, we can be able to do that for institutions and can hold up to over a million people at the same time online interacting within the virtual community. And the platform is just the first step. The second step is you need to have smart devices that will allow you to be able to engage with the platform. And that's where Zynox really comes into play. We have our smart devices 
that come up for different ages and different age groups. Starts from three years old with our Kids Legacy Tab series that is meant for introducing children to new vistas of learning. Moving up to the secondary schools, we have our z tablets that come in either the 8-inch or 10-inch form factor that can be fully used to interact with the platform. Then we have the Zynox brand of laptops that come in very affordable packages that can be issued out to students. Then the third thing that ties everything together is internet connectivity. For you to be able to successfully interact with the platform, you need to have stable, usable internet that can allow you to assess the platform through your smart device. And what Zynox, is, what Zynox does is we've been partnering with institutions across the country. We're already in over 2,000 universities and secondary schools now. So what we do is we supply the platform with the smart devices bundled with the internet, internet connectivity through our partnerships with the ISPs within the country. And we allow schools to pay for this over a period of time. So this reduces the bond, this reduces the burden essentially. So we are giving you smart devices, we are giving you the platform, and we are also giving you the internet connectivity to make everything easy and seamless. And you're getting this from one company, one solution. So all the solution is in-house and the support that goes with this solution also comes through. Now, one would ask, how affordable are these products and how available are they? How can we actually find them? Okay. Products are highly affordable because we have a very unique pricing strategy that ensures that every Nigerian will be able to own an ICT device. That is the vision that actually drives Zynox. And products are affordable across our offline retailers, and also online through our partnership with Conga. So products can easily be seen in the standard technological markets that you have across the country, in places like Lagos, when you go to the popular Otigba market, um, Computer Village, you have access to Zynox products. You go online, you go to conga.com, and also Conga retail stores, you can have easy access to our products. We also have wonderful promos and mouth-watering discounts that run all through the year through our various partners. Now, is there any way educational institutions can actually partner with Zynox to achieve virtual learning, especially at this time when that seems to be the order of the day? Okay. For institutions to partner with Zynox, they simply just have to send an email to inquiries at Zynox Technologies. They can visit our website and fill up the forms that we have on the website. Once our team receives the information, we contact directly to the schools and have a feel of what is the infrastructure that they have on ground, what is the number of students that we are looking at, what is the number of the faculty, and what are the best means. We also have to check within that environment, what's the best network, looking at the income of people within that range, what is the best device to offer, and also how we can make a plan that is very flexible. So just by reaching, coming on to the Zynox website at www.zynoxtechnology.com and reaching out to Zynox, our team of staff will be on hand to interface with the schools. And it's a very seamless process. We can have schools up and running within a week on our virtual platforms. Now, earlier on, you mentioned that Zynok has, of course, uh, diversified into renewables and electronics. But then, would you tell us what was uh, actually responsible for that move? While we moved from just a company that was making uh, boxes, uh, which are the laptops and the tablets, we started deploying turnkey projects. A lot of these projects were focused on education. And we deploy a fully built ICT center. The fully built ICT center will have computers and internet connectivity. From our digital network operating center in Lagos, our hub, we were monitoring the internet bandwidth and we see that during the hours of school time, eight in the morning to about four, we were not seeing the bandwidth being utilized. And while conducting different surveys with the schools, the most recurring challenge we had was power, which has been an infrastructure problem that has really plagued Nigeria. So we had to go back to the drawing board because if people were investing money into creating fully built ICT centers that couldn't be used, full value of the projects could not be seen and it could not affect and change the lives of the students in the schools, which is our main aim. So we had to sit down. We have a team of over 75 R&D engineers and over 500 field engineers. So we had to sit down and look into ways that we could harness renewable means of energy to ensure that the projects which we were deploying would be able to give value to what they were intended to do. And we decided on solar energy. 
Nigeria has one of the highest peak sunlight hours um, within West Africa, getting peak sunlight hours of about five to six hours daily. So we decided on solar energy, which is what led us to create the first hybrid inverter in Nigeria, which is the iPower solar hybrid inverter. Our inverters range from 1 kVA to 100 kVA, and we can also do deployments of up to 1 megawatt. After creating the inverters, we also had to move to producing the solar cells, which are the monocrystalline or the solar panels that actually harness the power. We further moved down to also creating the batteries because there was a lot of um, backdraw to people accompanying, uh, people adopting solar power in the country because of the failure rates that they had experienced with batteries. So we had to put a, a, a unique Nigerian blend to the products that we're making to make our batteries more fortified to meet the weather conditions and the unique challenges that Nigeria faces. So we're able to create our high power hybrid gel batteries that have been able to stand the test of time. So essentially, we moved into renewable energy to solve a problem which we were facing in deploying our projects. And from using those inverters at our project sites, people started asking for them. People also wanted to use them in their industries, in the ministries, in the government space, and also private sector. So that was fully how we went into the renewable sector with our iPower brand of products. For well, consumer said, appliances, okay. after Zinox acquired uh, Conga from... Conga in 2017, it was a full range, there was a space within that sector that we saw. After looking at um, the big companies like LG, um, Samsung Electronics, there were a lot of brands that were coming in um, from China, coming in through the border, that were not actually living up to their warranty services. You see brands that people will buy and use between a month or two, there were no names to these companies. There was no face to these companies. There was no way to track them down for them to support these products. And we saw this as a problem which Nigerians were facing. And we decided to come up with the iTech brand of home appliances. And what we did was we created a brand of smart TVs that launched in 2018 that were half the cost of what you get from other brands like Samsung or LG. We launched in 2018 during the Black Friday, and uh, we brought in about 50,000 units, and we sold out in less than two weeks, which shows that Nigerians are looking for well-priced products that have quality to stand the value of time. So that's essentially what put us into that space. We came in to solve a problem. Now, having said all of that, Mr. Chukuma, what certification measures do you have from the local regulators, such as the Standards Organization and the likes? Yeah. Zinox is an ISO certified company and our production processes go to the strictest international quality control measures. As you've said, we are partners with Microsoft Corporation. We are partners with Intel Corporation. We are the only platinum partners they have in Sub-Saharan Africa. And we're also the first company to deploy the Google Mother suit for GMS applications for our Android tablets. So our products go to different levels of quality control. We have what we do here in our local assembly plant. Um, regulators like NIDA come in to check what we are doing through the Ministry of um, Communication and Digital Economy. We also have the team, quality control team from Microsoft to come in to look at the laptops and the hardware and also Intel. We have teams from Google also that come into our production plants to ensure that products that are released are fully met with the best and highest quality standards. So all products that are released from Zinox have gone through full stringent quality control measures. Research and Development Manager at Zinox, Zinox uh, Mr. Onoche Chukuma, thank you for coming on the program. Thank you for having me.